Hello. Uh, my name's Rob, and I'm here to tell you about Roll for the Soul, uh, Bristol's community bike cafe. So what's a bike cafe? It's a cafe with a bike workshop in the same premises. And community, in this instance, means a community interest company. Uh, so any surplus that we make will be reinvested in uh, supporting and promoting cycling in Bristol. So what do we actually do? Well, we serve food and drink. We try and create an environment in which people can meet, have ideas, make and do things, learn things, and enjoy themselves. And that bit's actually really important because cycling advocacy can be pretty dull and worthy at times. So having fun is a nice part of it. We fix bikes. We show people how to fix their own bikes. We share what we know about routes, equipment, organizations. We try to make it easier, safer, and more fun for people to cycle with more confidence more often. And that's good for all of us. It's good for mental and physical health, it reduces congestion and emissions, and it makes for a more vibrant city. Roll for the Soul's journey has coincided pretty neatly with my journey through the year of SSE. Uh, when I applied last summer, I just quit my sensible full-time job to start on this project. I was writing a business plan, trying to figure out if it could really work. Uh, last autumn, we raised about £120,000 without setting foot in a bank, which I think is an interesting model for social enterprises, you know, unconventional funding models. So we ran a crowdfunding campaign where lots of people received these lovely t-shirts. Um, we got loans from supportive individuals. We obviously had the SSE grant, and we're very grateful for a grant of £40,000 from Bristol City Council, um, a very forward-looking transport department who saw that this sort of enterprise could help to promote sustainable transport in the city. So in spring of this year, we signed the lease on our premises. We started work on the 10th of April, and we opened 11 weeks later on the 1st of July. And it was a mammoth task involving a lot of people. Until we opened, nobody was paid a penny, but we had more than 500 hours of volunteer help on site during the fit out. And I don't know how many hours of help with other things like marketing, um, financial modeling, advice on the menu, building regulations, you name it, when we needed it, somebody stepped up and offered their time. Um, and that's really been the joy of doing this as a social enterprise for me. Uh, if I had set out to start a private company and make a profit for myself, nobody would have been interested in getting involved. They wouldn't have engaged with it in the same way. They wouldn't have felt any ownership of it. And it was really humbling and incredibly motivating to have all that volunteer help in getting the project ready, and I shall never forget that. So what does being a social enterprise mean for us? Well, we have some very specific social aims. To help more people enjoy the benefits of cycling, promoting it as fun, healthy, affordable and sustainable. To provide a home for Bristol's vibrant cycling community, celebrating and supporting our unique cycling culture. To enable that community to advocate more effectively. To support other cycling social enterprises, financially and otherwise. And finally, to pay a living wage in an excellent working environment and offer employment opportunities to people who might otherwise struggle to find them. We've only been open three and a bit months, but I found myself worrying about how well we're doing on these things. Uh, I also find myself worrying about gross margins and annual returns and lots of other things that I never really thought I'd think about. Um, but when I do think about how we're doing as a social enterprise, my conclusion is that we're doing all right, actually. We have provided a job for someone who came to the UK as an asylum seeker and has never had paid employment here before. We've hosted Bristol Cycle Festival, lots of Bristol Cycling campaign meetings, lots of meetings for other voluntary groups. We've let folks know about cycle infrastructure consultations being run by the council. We've sent people up to the Bristol Bike Project to volunteer on their community programmes. You'd have to ask the rest of the staff whether it's an excellent working environment, but I am enjoying it, mostly. And everyone's earning a living wage, uh, which is really unusual in catering, uh, but is absolutely central to the sort of business that we want to be. So what can you do? Well, it's very easy indeed. You can come along, have a cup of tea, buy a bit of cake, get involved, soak up a bit of that vibrant cycling culture that this city has to offer, uh, and be inspired by people who don't moan that X, Y, or Z isn't happening. They just get on and do X, Y, or Z. So come down, find out how to fix your bike, plan a ride, then go out and do it. We're just on Nelson Street, across the fountains, so I'll see you down there. Thanks. <laughs>